hello people of god hello beloved of god i hope that you are all well and i hope that you are all blessed and i just had to come on here and share and um I hope that this word blesses you. I hope that it does the work that he sent it out to do in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord is saying public honor, public honor is coming for your faithfulness in private. And then he continued to say, but also this is a gift of love. And I'm going to show you that... Um, you know, when whenever we think, whenever we think um, about faithfulness to the Lord, we think we think so many things other than love. We don't think that when He speaks of Him blessing us because of our faithfulness, that it has nothing to do with love. That it has something to do with our actions or what what we do. But I, I, I believe that the scripture that the Lord has, you know, actually this has been on my heart for so long. And I'm so surprised that I hadn't shared it. But thank God the Holy Spirit knew that he would need me to share it right now. I believe the scripture is going to give us a very good idea of what I'm talking about. And I hope that it does the work that he's sending it out to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, so we're going to read from Matthew 3. And I think we're going to start at verse 13. And it reads as follows. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him saying, I need to be baptized by you and you do do you come to me pardon me then jesus replied let it be so now it is proper for all of us to do this to fulfill all righteousness hmm my god my god mm. thank you jesus and then he said that then john consented i'll let you i'll let y'all know right now as soon as jesus was baptized he went up out of the water at that moment heaven was opened and he saw the spirit of god descending like a dove and a lightning on him and a voice from heaven said this is my son whom i love with him i am well pleased and you know what the what the, what the holy spirit said to me when i read this for the first time you know um i think two weeks back he said do you realize that jesus hadn't said anything no the lord just said i am well pleased with him but he hadn't done any and mind you if that well pleased had anything to do with love it wouldn't make any sense because he did say whom I love. And then again, he says, I am well pleased. So the, 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 there's love. And then the well pleased means I am pleased with. I mean, most of us would attribute it to or at least. It would be directed towards I am pleased with what you are doing. I'm pleased with what you have done. Or I'm pleased. But. Jesus hadn't done anything, but the Lord was pleased. Jesus hadn't done anything, but the Lord was pleased. Not only was the Lord saying, I love you, but the Lord was saying, I am pleased with you. And if that had anything to do with works, if that had anything to do with, with, you know, the assignment that he had to fulfill, he hadn't quite started. He hadn't quite. The, remember, this was the beginning where he was, um, he was baptized and then now led into the wilderness. And then he was going to come out later and do everything that he had to do. Right. But this man hadn't done anything. the lord affirmed him the lord affirmed him and that's what the spirit said to me he said affirmation is coming 
affirmation is coming and he also go, went on to say you know um there's always been a grace a, a grace on your life there's always been a grace about you that you may think is testimony enough you know how we we like to kind of you know be a little modest about it and say you know what lord you have done so many things in private i mean i look at how far you've come me and you with our um, with my heart i mean my heart used to be a wreck but now i i my heart is just better. Lord, I used to think a mess. Now you have transformed my mind. I think in alignment with your word. And even when I don't, you, for some reason, your spirit and even your word that you've put inside me comes to my rescue. Right? We like to think, oh, no, it's okay. I mean, yeah, the Lord blessed me in private. But the Lord is saying, I want to make a public affirmation. Just like I did with Jesus. I want to affirm you. I want you to have a little more than your heart and your mind to look back at and say the Lord is good. I want you to have something, something else. Yes, public affirmation. Public affirmation. Public affirmation. And um, I said I was gonna let you in on um, on 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 what I just read. And and here in verse fifteen, when when um when John was saying to Jesus, "Why are you coming to me? I should be coming to you for baptism, right?" And Jesus said. No, let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. To fulfill all righteousness. That's what the Lord is doing. And you, you know um, how it's, it's, it's considered public affirmation when you, um, when you get baptized, right? When you, uh, the public affirmation of salvation you go you you get saved right salvation it happens in the heart it happens in secret and then the public affirmation of it all is you know um a water baptism right and and that fulfills all righteousness the lord is saying yes i've blessed you in private but it fulfills all righteousness the public affirmation the public affirmation all righteousness and he said you are the righteousness of god you are the righteousness of god so when he has to fulfill all righteousness happens in the heart and in public Happens in the Lord and in public. And the Lord said it's a gift of love. You see, it had it, it had nothing to do with what Jesus did, like I said. A gift of love. A gift of love. He wants to affirm you because he loves you. And you know how most of us like to, um, when, 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 when the Lord does something, we, we kind of like to put ourselves on the back burner, you know, like, oh no, I think, I think the Lord is actually just doing it for his kingdom. You know, it has nothing to do with you. And the Lord came to me and said, listen, it has everything to do with me loving you. Everything, not half of it, not half of it. Not half of it, because number one, the reason you were adopted into the kingdom is love. The reason why there is a kingdom is love. The reason why I created all these things and wanted you to subdue them. I mean, listen, listen, listen. The Lord created the earth and everything. And he was like, oh, this is good. And then he said, you know what? We're going to make someone who's going to enjoy all of this. Love. Oh love, oh love. Oh love. Create
created us, adopted us, wanted us to enjoy all these things. Love. So, when the Lord blesses you, it's all about love. Because the kingdom is love. So don't, 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 don't separate what he does for the kingdom outside of love. You know, I, hope, I know I'm making sense to somebody. Because they like to put... They like to put themselves at the back burner to say, no, you know what? It's okay. No, it's not. It's not about me. Oh, it's about you. It's about you. Okay. It's about you. It's about love. It's about love. I mean, the fact that the Lord wants to bless you and wants everyone to see it and wants um, the kingdom to grow because of it and that's all love the lord loves us beloved and he said it's time for gifts of love time for gifts of love it's time for that the lord says and you know he gave me if i can share this um, last thing he gave me this analogy of a husband buying a, a, a wife a car you know it's there's only so many thank yous in private only so many flowers bouquet of flowers that nobody sees that can express his love and gratitude only so many he has to then resort to something bigger to show his love. To show his love. He had to resort to something greater. And the Lord is saying, it's that time. It's that time. Is that time when I, the Lord had <laughs> shared with me um, this word also from Matthew. And I think I should just go ahead and share it um, because he's prompting me to, to do so. Um, and it has to do with something being bigger. It's bigger than what you're thinking. That's something, he said to me, something greater, something bigger than what you're used to is here, is what is going to happen. You know, some of us have been, um, have probably been questioning the season. Lord, are you really restoring? Lord, is it really double? Is it really tenfold? Is, is this really this peculiar season that you, that, that I'm, I'm, I'm sensing it is, is, you know, all these maybe prophetic words that I'm bumping into, uh, this feeling in my spirit that I'm that I'm I'm sensing and discerning, this thickness that is going on in 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 the realm of the spirit. What what is this? I hope that this is a confirmation for you. Um, I just really forgot where this that uh, is. It's in Matthew. I do know that, but um, I'll find it just now. I'll find it just now. Okay, actually, let me look on my app. Did I make notes on it? No, I think I just highlighted it. But that's what the Lord is saying. Something greater than what you're used to is happening in this season. You've been seeing, um, you know, marriages on crutches, this and that it's no longer your portion it's no longer your portion in the name of jesus you've been seeing that and everything that you know just know what is coming in the season is greater than that everything that you know and you're used to greater the lord said i can't wait to read the scripture for you um Oh my goodness. Uh, what's this? 
Okay, I think I should just Google it. I think I should just Google it. Otherwise, we will be here till eternity. Okay, so... Yes, perfect. Um, okay, so it is Matthew 12, verse 42. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, I had intended not to stay here on long, but... Yeah, the Holy Spirit, right? Isn't he so fun? <laughs> okay, so Matthew 12. Let's go there very quickly. Matthew 12. Matthew 12, we said 42, right? Yes. Um, yes, I think we're going to start reading. Hmm. We'll start reading from verses 39, right? And, um, hmm, 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 hmm. Ah! Okay, let's start verse 40. It just, it gets for me. Okay, so, for as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will stand up at judgment. I think I should have started at 41. The men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And now something greater than Jonah is here. And I hope the Lord is affirming. Something greater is here, okay? In your heart, in your life. And he said, um, 42, the queen of the south will rise a judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to listen to Solomon's wisdom. And now something greater than Solomon is here. The Lord is saying, what 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 you would have driven to the end of the earth just like the queen of the south what at first you would have you would have gone crazy over something is greater in the season that has come something greater than that something greater than that gift of love something greater than what you're used to something greater is here beloved something greater is here beloved something greater is here lord we thank you and we receive you as you show your love as you affirm, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, the way that you want to. We receive you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you. We give you all the glory and the praise. We give you all the glory and the praise. And we thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let this word prepare our hearts to receive completely, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh Lord. O oh, glory is to the Father in the highest heaven. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I hope you all are not hearing because I, I hear a bit of music from my neighbor. I hope you all are not hearing none of that. But I pray that this word really blessed you all. And I pray that it does the work that the Lord is sending out to